Hello, my Geminis. Welcome back. All right, so you know the deal. Like always, it's a general reading. You're going to have to take what resonates here. That's just how we play. Um, if you want to book a personal reading with me, a link to my website is in the description box below. All right. Um, I'm getting there's like a mess. Something's a mess. This could be like a, like a mental burden you have to clean up or you might actually have to clean up somebody's mess. There could be like damage to property or some of you could be like re, what is it called? Um, I keep wanting to say reinventing a house, but that's not the correct term. Flipping, doing something, anyway. Regardless, I see putting a lot of work into something and I feel like you have someone by your side who will help you and they don't want, I see, like if you're carrying seven things, they're gonna carry 10. Like they don't want you to have to do more than them. This is kind of a good energy, a lot of, a lot of passion, a lot of struggle, so there could be some bickering, but, um, it feels like a good energy, whoever it is. This person has your back, despite, you know, I feel like you guys have to clean something up or you have to deal with something. There's just a lot of maybe family burden or, I'm not sure. But I feel like you guys are working together here to get it done. Romantic business, I don't know, whatever. But you definitely have somebody kind of here to do the dirty work with you. Could be a Scorpio, could be a fire sign. Some of you could work in agriculture, I'm hearing, or something like that. I'm just seeing somebody carrying a lot of stuff, but this could be symbolic for burden. Uh, also, there's a connection in your life that I feel like you're constantly praying to find guidance about or if you you know if you're not somebody who prays you think about this like you know you hope for guidance you should pray pray for clarity pray to whoever you want you know it's more about seeking that within yourself but i want to say that don't worry things are going to get back together i think you have i i want to say that you're you're going to have a good team or you do have a good team or the foundation is right like it's it's starting to come together whatever whatever this is regarding you know how to make things in order i feel like you like things to go by the book here gemini at least you're coming across that energy right now because you realize the importance of that something needs to be done so I feel like you're going to come together with something. Even if you don't agree on everything, there is a, I'm sensing a coming together. And they will do, do work too. Cool. If this is a, some, if this is environment, charity work, business, even a relationship, any way I, I like this. I feel like the, the universe is pleased by, by you two coming together. Putting in work for like a greater cause. So, all right, let's go ahead and get the overall energy, please, for Gemini and whoever they're dealing with, romantic or not, only you will know. Only you will know who's relevant to you right now. Overall energy with Gemini. Who's they dealing with? Uh, first thing I'm hearing, two different agendas. Something constantly has to be recalibrated, rebalanced. But there's like, I hear like uh, working, putting work into this for a purpose, doing something for a purpose. Because um, there could be pleasure in the outcome or something like that. Like. Yeah, but I, I see like working on something passionately here. I always get a lot of creative energy with you. Some of you could get a new idea.
create copies. I was getting copies in a different reading. So yeah, there's something, there's something that you're gonna do that could take off in the future. But I wanna say that there's like a lot going on around right now. So whatever you're working on is something that's like, you're doing this for the future, for the horizon. So we may talk about this for a while is what I'm feeling. Okay, so what's going on for Gemini? What are you doing over here, Gemini? Show me. Gemini. Okay. Your, for some of you, sales or income could have been affected by what has been going on, but I do feel like that will change if it hasn't started to already. I'm getting like, economy will be stimulated. Um, this will help increase in the future for you, but you did take some sort of loss. I'm also getting a lot of smog, bad air. Or just like gloom. This could be the mood or the past. Maybe in your town. Something something could be this like, you know, quarantine that's been going on, whatever. But I'm seeing like kind of like a depressed, like a depressed economy slightly. But it's going to bounce back. I can feel that. That's why I, I hate to even bring it up really. But that is what it is. That's what I'm seeing over here. But I want to say that you are finding, you're taking on a very pragmatic, um, successful stance. So even despite the loss that you might have incurred or, or, or will, you're going to come up great with this King of Pentacles. You could be dealing with a Virgo or you could actually have been like left out in the cold in some way by a Virgo or a business deal in the past. <clears throat> But I'm seeing you, it's going to be fine. You might feel a little lonely in yourself trying to work with other people, but I, I or hear back from like a bigger company. Yeah. Okay. So what is this person that Gemini is dealing with? What are they, um, what are they doing? this person that Gemini said, what are they doing? Oh, okay. They could be walking away from something that has caused this person is getting quite a pickle here. If you haven't heard from them, they're actually walking away or they will be shortly. They're in like some sort of mess, a hurtful situation. They could be dealing with somebody that's hurtful or they're like, there's like karma. I'm just getting pain here, struggling. It's almost like they got themselves in a situation and there's not really a lot of trust. This cycle is, I mean, it's going to force them to walk away, whoever this individual is. I don't think this is with you. I mean, it could be, but I want to say it's like they're off doing something else and it's a mess. Could be a water sign or a fire sign. Doesn't have to be. Okay, what is this King of Pentacles for Gemini, please? A lot of Virgo energy for you. You could have um, a, somebody could be watching you here. Some of you may do well dis displaying your product I'm getting on the internet or doing like podcasts, something like that. Something you could do from home. You may have to think about this, <clears throat> like a new business idea. I also feel like you communicate very clearly to someone, especially when they make you feel like, because there's somebody here that, you know, I feel like you do fine by yourself, but there's something sometimes where they make you feel lonely or somebody that you're dealing with. Like, I'm not alone, but I feel like I'm alone. Why? You know, like I could, that's what I'm saying. That kind of energy. That makes sense. 
Okay, what is this Eight of Cups for the person that Gemini is dealing with? What are they walking away from here? What is going on? Eight of Cups. Okay, yeah. They're ending something. The Lovers and the Death card could be... Some sort of connection is ending or changing. But with the Walking Away and the Death card... They might say, they might try to, be, think of a way to get them out of this situation to prevent an ending by putting more focus into something, is what I'm picking up now. It's like this individual is somehow in a mess. Either they're choosing to walk away from a mess or they're, they're, they're in jeopardy of losing this they're trying to figure out how to work this out how to like get this working again at least like on a functioning level on like a friendship level I want to say that um, a kind or sweet gesture would be successful if anybody was wondering Gemini or the cross watcher I don't really know exactly what's going on it feels a little murky and a little messy but I want to say that you know the Page of Cups, Six of Wands, somebody reaching out and expressing themselves. If, they, if they're not, this is not an aggressive energy. You'll be successful if there's a level of, you know, just kindness and humble to you. I mean, I don't know, you know. I don't know how, like, far that will take you, but it will at least ease the silence or ease the... Kind of like restore some semblance of balance by having this kind of softened energy for whoever that applies so take whatever you know side feels right for you obviously um interesting all right uh before we close it off how does Gemini feel about the person they're dealing with, please? How does Gemini feel about the person they're dealing with? A lot of earth energy in here. So I feel like your mind is very focused on practical matters. Like life is very practical for you right now. Your energy can can float and go other places, but something's grounding you. All right, how does Gemini feel about this person they're dealing with, please? Could be an earth sign. How does Gemini feel about this person they're dealing with? Gemini. You may... <laughs> conflicting energy okay so even though you are kind of something's grounding you and pulling you down inside you could be hiding this uh the chariot so i'm moving forward i'm going forward with this yes i'm going i'm going i'm going i'm long and oh, wait hold on two of swords stop okay hold on i'm not sure <laughs> however this could be something that so you could kind of go through like Either this is you or someone you're dealing with goes through like hermit modes, sort of. This also feels like it doesn't really know like where it's going. Let me get one more card for how Gemini feels about this person. But you see, uh, it's interesting. It's like you might be battling with yourself, something in your own mind. I, I don't know. I don't know. But it's like you see longevity. This person may be well off or you just see a lot of stability, growth, potential, um, family. You just, they could come into your family. There's just a lot of reasons to move forward. And you know that. But this Nine of Swords energy is like, plagues you. But you, again, you may hide this. Or some, someone does. 
<clears throat> All right. Yeah, because there's some sort of like, stop, go, stop, go. Yes. Wait, hang on. No, I'm, I'm just, oh, hold on. I don't know. You know? <laughs> okay. I don't know. Somebody's got that energy going on. Okay, so the person that Gemini is dealing with, how do they feel about Gemini? How does this person feel about Gemini? I'm hearing they know. Um, okay, so you have a ton. Okay, they do know, first off. Nine of Cups, the Hermit, more Virgo energy. If you weren't dealing with a Virgo, I mean, I would be surprised. But, you know, somebody may have Virgo placements in their chart um, or their heavy Mercury energy. This person thinks deeply. They're smart. They're well learned as well in something. I want to say they're patient um, and they have a calmness. Like they're patient with you at least. Nine of Cups, they know that they want the, they want this and they've thought pretty deeply about it. Eight of Pentacles, they might see themselves working with you or they might just see, it just feels, it's practical, it makes sense. They've put a lot of work into this. They see it going forward. And Ten of Cups at the bottom of the deck with the King of Pentacles, I mean. They might see you as the type of person that they could marry, that they could spend the rest of their life with. It's like, or maybe they already have, I don't know. So yeah, this person is sure about you. If not, if you don't know that yet, they may spend time alone to figure that out, or they will in the future. Because um, somebody here definitely wants you. So if you're dealing with somebody you're like, oh no, they don't want me, then that's not the person I'm talking about here. This person um, that I'm talking about is, they're kind of quiet, they're just mellow, they keep to themselves. I wanna say they're humble and very natural also, so. All right, well, that's what I have for you, Gemini. Future happiness, definitely. Your last couple readings have been pretty good, so. All right, bye-bye.